All right. In this example here, I'm going to also show how to add in a URL into your PowerPoint presentation. So what I'm going to do here is, well, actually, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and start out with the Office 365 version that's in your web browser here. So let me go ahead and make a new slide. And we're going to call this example of a URL link in whoops, in PowerPoint. So let's say I have, please click here to go to CCAC. And I'm going to go ahead and grab CCAC.edu here. One way that you can work with a URL is technically whenever you're listing, you could do a copy, control C, and a control V. And you can just directly put the URL in here. But from a design standpoint and layout standpoint, maybe you want to have your text actually be the URL. Because I'm saying click here to go to CCAC. So what you can actually do is you can right click on the text after highlighting it. So I used my cursor and I'm clicking and dragging across the text that I would like to have act as the link and right clicking and you should see a link option. So I'm going to go ahead and change this instead and do insert. So I pasted this URL there and let me go ahead and get rid of that. So now if I go ahead and preview, you see how my cursor changes to a pointer and you can actually see the URL to ccac.edu. And if I click on it, you see how it snaps me out of the presentation, takes me directly to the web page. Another option here is let's go ahead and hop back over to the desktop version. So let me go ahead and make a brand new slide here, and I'm going to call this example of a URL web link. And we'll do the same thing here. So click, I'm going to bold here to go to CCAC. I'm going to have the same exact options here, and I'm going to want to use that same process. So I'm going to highlight my text here, and I'm going to right click. And once again, you have the link option. Now, notice here it does show me some recent options, like it shows me a clipboard or other documentation here. You can just choose link. Now, it's a little bit different here whenever you're working on the desktop version of PowerPoint. You actually do have capabilities that you can point to other files or things like that. The big thing to point out, though, is existing file or web page, you can leave this at the default and in the address here, you can actually just do control V and put that link that you copied out of your web browser directly there. And then I'll say OK. And let me go ahead and demo this now. So if I go into pr presentation mode, I can say click here and you see how it opened up in a web browser for me that I could go visit the website. So those are some of the basic options there available to you inside of PowerPoint that I do get additional questions on.